You know, I just Googled this and it's absolutely wild. At any one point, 28% of men around the world, that's nearly one third, 1.1 billion men are currently suffering from lower back pain, which is absolutely insane when you think about it. But at the same time, it is one of the most common problems that I hear. So in this video, I'm gonna help you to relieve your lower back pain with three simple exercises that you can do in pretty much any gym. Before I get into it though, let me introduce myself very quickly. My name is Doug. I've been an online personal trainer and nutritionist for the last five years, helping men to live healthier, happier, and more fulfilled lives. Okay, intro out the way. Let's get straight into the topic of conversation. So one of the main reasons that men have a weak back, lower back pain is because their posterior chain has weaknesses in it. So your posterior chain runs from the bottom of your Achilles heel all the way up to the base of your neck. And what tends to happen is when you are experiencing pain, your brain will send the sort of signals of pain to the weakest point in that posterior chain, which tends to be the lower back area for a few reasons. First and foremost, it's because it's the middle. So if you think of any sort of uh, lever, it's always the weakest in the middle part, right? And secondly, it's because a lot of guys spend most of their time doing this, sitting down. And as a result of it, we don't really have that much strength in the bottom half of our posterior chain, in our calves, in our hamstrings, in our glutes, in our hips, all of these muscles. And these muscles or joints, in particular with the hips, are some of the biggest in our body. So what we need to be doing is focusing on building up the strength in the lower part of our posterior chain. Because plenty of men will go to the gym and do back exercises. They'll do pull-ups, lat pull-downs, bent over rows, cable rows, and all that sort of exercises. But hardly any men train their glutes or their hamstrings. And if they do, it's sporadic with low intensity and almost zero consistency. And you couple that, like I say, with the fact that most men nowadays spend a lot of their time sedentary, hung over, I was about to say hung over, but you know what I mean? Like hunched over at their desks like T-Rexes. It's kind of no surprise that we are getting weaker and weaker. But like I say, there are three exercises that everybody can do once per week that will counter and relieve that lower back pain over time and strengthen the area so that in the future, you're not suffering that with lower back pain. If you couple that with a basic mobility drill, which I'm not gonna get into in this video, so if you want me to give you that basic mobility drill, drop me a comment and let me know, and I'm more than happy to do so. When you couple that with a basic mo 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 mobility drill, you'll build a very solid lower back. So let's get straight into these three exercises, guys. First and foremost is the hip thrust. Now, preferably, you preferably, you will do it on some kind of machine because it means you're not having to spend ages setting up a barbell. You can literally just rack the weights on and the sort of foot, posi foot position is in the perfect positioning. But if you don't have that machine available, like a hip thrust, a glute thrust machine in your gym, then no worries, you can do this with a barbell. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer to get set up, but it is still well worth it. And why? Well, your hip thrusts work your glutes, which are some of the biggest muscles in your body. But most lads tend to neglect these because that we see these exercises sort of like for the girls. But this isn't about like building the bunda, lads. This is about strengthening that posterior chain, which is going to take the strain off of any lower back pain that you're having. It's also going to improve your posture. And if you do this properly, it's going to make you up to two inches taller because of the improvements in your posture. And if you look two inches taller, you might be able to update your dating profile and match with 94% of the women who say they'll only date men who are six foot and above. I know I don't make the rules, women are heightists. <laughs> and then staying with the legs, guys, you're gonna sense a little bit of a theme here. The abductors and the adductor machine. What I would suggest is that you do a set of each and superset them. So you do a set of 10 abductors, which is the one where you're going out, and a set of 10 adductors, which is where you're going in. The easy way to remember which one is which is add, is adding to the center of mass, okay? You're adding towards your center mass, right? But you do a set of 10 of the ab abductors and then set of 10 of the adductors, or the other way around, it doesn't really matter. And what this is gonna do is strengthen your hips and it's gonna strengthen your groin, which, like the hip thrusts, is gonna make your life a lot easier 
on your back. It's also pretty much guaranteed to improve your squat and your deadlift numbers. So you're gonna look much cooler on Instagram when you're posting those. So that's a win as well. And then last but not least guys is good mornings. So good mornings, a little bit like the deadlift, are a hip hinge movement. So rather than bending at the knee like a squat, you are hinging at the hips and pulling on those hamstrings. So we're strengthening and lengthening those hamstring muscles, okay? The, the difference between the good morning and the deadlift is the deadlift you're picking up off the floor. So there's a, there's a gap in the mechanical tension because when you drop the weight down to the floor, well, don't drop it, <laughs> place the weight back down on the floor, you are effectively relieving, you are taking the tension off of all the working muscles. With the good morning, because it's the bar is sitting on your the you know the top part of your uh, of your back, like a like a squat, like a barbell back squat. The the mechanical tension is always on throughout the whole set. And I what I've, I've obviously putting a video up so you can see what I mean by good mornings in case you're not sure. Obviously, I would encourage you to check out other YouTube videos showing you exact breakdown of form and how to do these properly. And again, all of my clients, when they sign up, they get um, workout programs. And if these exercises, which most of them are, are in their workout programs, then they get videos of me doing those exercises so you can actually see for your own benefit the, you know, how to do them and stuff like that. So yeah, like I say, not only is this going to keep the mechanical tension on the working muscle, but it's a far more controlled movement. And this is gonna help increase the strength of your hamstrings and of your glutes. So guys, do these exercises and what's gonna happen? Obviously you wanna start light. If you are currently suffering from some lower back pain, first and foremost, you probably wanna literally lie on a foam roller and it's horrible and painful. Do it for 30 seconds, three times per day, move up and down on it. And, and I say lie on it because that means you're maximizing the absolute like it digging into that sort of spot just to relieve that acute initial sort of um, pain that you're feeling. Then what I want you to do is start to move the area, start to, start to get blood flowing to that area, okay? We need the blood flowing because that's how the protein gets to the cells that need healing and recovering, and we're gonna keep doing that. What you're slowly gonna do over time is build up the resistance, build up the weight, okay? Uh, but doing these three exercises once per week, you can spread them out. So you could spread them out over your three gym sessions if you're doing three gym sessions, or you could add them into your leg day. That's probably how I would structure it. It's kind of one of those two, it's completely up to you. But doing these is gonna make you taller, it's gonna give you a stronger lower back, and ultimately it's gonna save you money on physio, chiropractors, psychologists, and whatever else. And more importantly than all of that, you will win and we love winners. So I promised you a short video. We wrapped it up in under eight minutes. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give, me, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let me know if you want that mobility drill and I'll see you tomorrow guys.